We all know in our guts by now that freedom of speech is there across the globe in almost all countries. Whether it's Article 14, 1A in Sri Lanka, or the First Amendment in the US, and like in Sri Lanka, Canada also, I can recognize freedom of speech as fundamental right. France does, India does, UK, all these countries in different uh, uh, different uh, ways, maybe by way of an act or by way of a constitutional provision. Now, these are all tested in, as well as in Sri Lanka and other countries to explain one main uh, reason for development. I think the US Supreme Court elaborated this to large extent in several judgments. That is, it is the it is it is because of this freedom that is given for people to express freely that development in every area will happen. Development in science, development in thought, development in literary artistic expression, and so on and so forth. Uh, we think freedom of expression is only need with regard to journalists writing or your expression in uh, what you have to do in artistic creation. No, it is also needed for the development of science as well. That is why in, in recent judgment, uh, the US uh, Supreme Court has considered video game expression or advertising in another case. It's also a type of freedom of expression. For you to advertise, you are communicating uh, to commercial transaction, but you're also disseminating information. Same with your kid playing on a video game. Now, what is in, in a video game, a kid plays with his own expression, interpretation of what is couched in there. So, I don't need to go into that, uh, although I kind of a touch for introduction to as to what freedom of expression is. But the other side of the coin is that we are a little bit hesitant. We, we, we do not uh, feel when there's some kind of control, whether that control is necessary for freedom of expression or whether that is not necessary, and countries, especially in Sri Lanka at the moment, we are dabbling with the fact that the new laws need to be made, and we also don't know that there are laws already uh, covering the areas that you need to um, curtail freedom of speech. Now, if you look at the what are the violations that happen or what are the situations that freedom of expression is abused that can be categorized to several areas. One of the three major areas freedom of expression violates is a copyright or intellectual copyright of, uh, uh, of certain other people. Then it can border or it can create defamatory material. It can also, as we know, present day, a very hot topic about the ICCPR Act, it can also create hate speech, then it goes into even creating uh, uh, obscene publications and child pornography and so on and so forth. Now, we we all know, if you look at the Sri Lankan laws available, whether it's intellectual property law or the defamatory law and the uh, hate speech related law, there are laws already that are there which can be dealt with to, uh, in a situation where the expressions violate somebody else's right. Because as we all know, it's a, a known legal maxim that my right is there only till it ha ha uh, violates your right. I, I can't extend my right to violate somebody else's right. But there are certain areas which in Sri Lanka as well as most of the countries have not dealt with uh, when it comes to dealing with the present day issues of freedom of expression. Now, why do I say this and where does this happen? Now, we know internet was there for a long time, at least 30 years in Sri Lanka. But if you look at the year 2005, 6, there's a new form of internet uh, came into view. That is where the social media came up with uh, using of technology. Uh, they developed interactive web pages. Before that, it was only standard on web page, we go and we get information. So even if it's a news organization or something like that, if you have a standard on web page, they are editorial rights, they are editors who are qualified for that, and they post things which people get information. But after 2005, the Facebook started and the YouTube started, especially these two uh, uh, social media sites, created an interactive forum, and I would say, which left no control on any form. That is, anybody could make a free account, post a video or audio on the YouTube, as well as post something what you write or think 
on the Facebook, and there are other sites that develop new soon Instagram and so on and so forth. Now, the violations which I said happened in intellectual property, defamation, hate speech, started bringing to an uncontrollable level because of this social media, which we also call in a term as new media, which came up on um, on this on this site. Now, what can we do? Now, I remember uh, Ajit Sohan mentioned here that there are numbers where you can call the police and take down. But under what law, if I post something which offends you, if you call the police and police takes down my uh, right, um, uh, video or post Facebook page, under what law are they doing it? I don't think there's a law available in Sri Lanka, but certain countries there is. Because in as much as you might disagree of my post, I have a right to keep my post on my uh, Facebook, also a uh, uh, YouTube site, as long as I am within the community standards which are in this. Can I be happy, uh, President Council Sali, please mention about that what we need to strengthen here is other than bringing laws, there are laws, I can mention, which need to help out this situation, to discuss on, uh, with the social media, these giant companies, and to strengthen, strengthen, uh, strengthen or stringent their uh, community standards, which will, uh, <laughs> which will help uh, most of these violations go away. Now, why I say that is like this. Now, if you look at uh, the culture, this all goes to the cultural aspect. United States is known, a lot of people might not like to say this, it's a country without one culture. There is no one culture in that country. But these sites and things that are emanating from countries like that, these, these, these uh, technological tools. But the standards they would have put as community standards will not be sufficient with regard to certain other cultures. So, whether Sri Lanka, India, or Spain, Europe, or countries that have other countries, they don't like certain things which you are free to do in the US to do, they should negotiate or find a situation to discuss with these uh, uh, institutions to strengthen, uh, strengthen their community sense. I think in 2018, the Digana incident happened, uh, we, uh, Sri Lanka blocked the Facebook, and Facebook officials came here and then. Uh, I, I may be I'm not really sure about it. There was a discussion that what they need to do is to um, have a serve or something that through which uh, their material was going through. I don't. I think that didn't pan out properly. But that should have been also the way because it's a server that is controlled under a government institution in Sri Lanka. Then there can be different uh, another side to it. Then there are people that can be controlled uh, uh, to the whims and fancies of the authority. That should not be. But Culture specific, country specific, community standard regulation is something I see as a solution to controlling social media's expositions which you might, which we might not like. But there's also legislative uh, solutions that certain countries have brought in. Now, US as well as European Union has this takedown notice situation. US as I call digital millennium copyright act, which is uh, which yeah, you can complain. Now we don't have, we were saying that if we have something we don't like in Facebook or YouTube, or we do, we have a right to them, and they might take it down, they might not, uh, depending on what their standards are. And, but if you have a law like that, which can be applied within to jurisdictions in Sri Lanka, then we can, uh, of course, digital media and copyright act deals only with intellectual property aspect of. We can have a civil generous law which can cover defamation as well as other areas. Yeah, a complaint can be made, you know, civil suit or a, civil, uh, or a police complaint, uh, where by, by virtue of like a letter of demand, they call it a takedown notice. A takedown notice can send to a lawyer, and uh, if they don't adhere to it, further action can be taken. Um, and another area uh, uh, of, uh, sense of not censorship is the freedom of expression, I feel, which is uh, violated in. Uh, not violent to an extent, uh, unfair control is like uh, President Sam Sariki has mentioned about the broadcasting bill's uh, definition of truth, how you define truth. Similar to this, something I see is this censorship of films. Now, I, I heard that's also the censorship act going to change. But how is a government body <laughs> appointed by no matter what, uh, how much you, 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 you get their better and, and you know, match the, uh, what basis you take in, 
uh, a set of people sit and censor an artistic creation of, a, uh, of, of another person. Now, what is a film censorship going to do? It's an artistic creation, a film director, writers, work of creative people put together. Then before it's shown, if it's censored by other people, is this artistic creation going to go to the public? No. That is directly a violation of the freedom of expression. What has this was there even in England and other countries in the 20s and 30s. But what has happened in the developed in the developed world is that instead of a censorship board for films and things like that, they have gone into a position where they rate it without having to censorship. Right? Uh, uh, that is something I think we should also look into it. And the latest issue uh, about AI, uh, which we have still dabbling with, I think there's a lot of interest to bring AI regulation. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was yesterday that the European Union put a draft AI regulation bill because it is going out of control. Problem with AI is that, I'm, I'm sure some of you use the chat GPT and other, other um, uh, 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 apps and programs like that. You can have, uh, uh, you can tell somebody in the future to write a written submission for you. It is coming to that. So you might not need your juniors, right? You you can just tell some uh, tell the AI uh, anything that you want with the instruction. It will pull out information here and there, create what you want. There are a lot of presentations people make uh, in other places. People will do like that. Now, what happens in this? If you take copyright or defamation, all those laws are going to be violated by the AI, and we don't know who violated whether it's the person who gave instructions or the artificial intelligence which does. And it is reported in the Congress testimonies. I remember uh, about a month ago, the manufacturers of AI uh, uh, scientists were saying that the, the, the code developers, that is the, uh, I think the algorithm writers said that they, when you develop AI to a certain extent, you lose control over it. It decides for itself. So then how are we going to do it? So that is another area where freedom of expression can be completely taken over by AI third party, which is a creation of a human. AI is a creation of a computer program. But it takes, beyond a point, it makes decides for itself. So then, whose freedom of expression is it going to be? And at the same time, it will go and violate those other laws, which I said, uh, whether it's the hate speech, uh, uh, child pornography, uh, uh, and defamation, and intellectual property, all those things it will violate. And you will know where to pin it if you don't nail it down now. Um, I want to uh, leave these thoughts because these are, uh, I think in a question time we have, we can answer specific questions. Um, we, I, I, there is laws, what you have to understand is that there is laws that already deals with curtailing of freedom of speech, but we need to fine tune in certain areas, something like the uh, DMC Act with regard to, because large part of violations that happen in the social media present day, is violations done by music videos or uh, or other videos or film clips that are done by people or speeches that they, they make and also like uh, uh, Rohan mentioned about the revenge porn uh, issue it's a huge issue in Sri Lanka these things can be curtailed uh, I don't think it can be curtailed at the moment as it is with the law something similar to the DMCA Act or the AI regulator regulated body uh, uh, laws that we are discussing now, if we can bring in, I think that will suffice. Thank you.